everyone welcome back to my latest Heckfire tutorial video today we're we'll going over the dragons so dragons are your main attacking things so uh they're the things that you add to your march and they'll basically attack for you um they give you all your stats and all that so depending on what you're sending and uh what you're actually doing they'll give you bonuses to either gathering monster hunting pvp all that stuff so this is just them attacking a uh, a titan here um but we'll go over the, what the dragons do where to find your dragons uh the rarity of the dragons, how to get them, and all that other stuff. Uh, what are the best ones to use? What, where you should be actually feeding and all that and leveling up? Which ones you should focus on and all that. So we'll actually go into our Dragon Spire. The dragon Spire is where you find all your dragons. There's a quicker way to do that if you don't want to go into your castle and hit dragons. There's actually a quick thing here. Um, it's right at the bottom here, bottom left corner. You click on it, click on dragons, goes right to your dragons. So I have them sorted by rarity. So the newest dragons actually just came out probably about a month ago, and they are these three here. Uh, Waffles, which is an attacking dragon. You have Smack, which is a raid dragon, so it helps you with uh, raid uh, stuff. And I'll go over each dragon in depth, but uh, it's just a little overview here. And Lady Smaller Horns is a lava dragon, so it's the only ones of that. Um, there's a bunch of like grassland. Uh, Swamp and uh, Badlands Dragons, they each do different things. Um, the main ones are your legendary ones. Um, you get one free one, you gotta buy the other two. Uh, you always get a random free one, so depending when you start, you might get Record Bob, which is your Swamp. Uh, Rot, which is your Badlands. And then there's Captain Sparkles, which is your Grasslands here. So these are your legendary dragons. Um, the reason they're legendary is I'll go over the stats right now. So we'll, we'll take a look at Sparkles. Uh, we can see they have Monster Hunting, which is your Goblin Hunting. Um, you have your Glassland uh, Raider, which is your t actually player attacking and defensive bonus. And it also gives you a builder bonus. So um, that's what Captain Sparkles. So it gives you a bunch of different bonuses. Or if you look at like a regular dragon, um, we'll go to here. Um, Quartz is actually an attacking dragon, but that's literally all you get. All you get is attacking and defending on this one. So your legendary dragons, you get a bunch of different bonuses. Um, so those are the ones you want to focus on the most. So your Wreckers and Bobs, um, your Rots, and your Captain Smarkles. Unfortunately, well, not... I don't know if unfortunately, but uh, you do have to buy two of them. So uh, they are not quote-unquote free to play you have to buy two of them um you do get one for free so usually if you're going to be free to play and you get let's say wrecker and bob you end up going to be a swamp main so you should focus on that um so basically whatever dragons you have is kind of what you got to focus on uh but if you want to buy it and, and buy the other two then you can basically focus on whatever you want you can be whatever you want um, i have all three i've leveled them up they're actually quote-unquote my highest dragons other than let's say quartz uh since i am a grass main i did level up quartz and uh um, what's called uh, Salty, because these are the warrior dragons. They're the ones who do PvP, so you get attack and defense on them. Uh, if you go look at... Oops, I went, keep getting out my dragons here. Um, we'll go by... We'll go by base strength. No, we'll go by biome. That'll make it easier. So you can actually sort it by biome, so you can look at your grass dragons, your badlands dragons, your swamp dragons, and then your uh, other ones, your uh, super legendaries, or I don't know, your elite dragons, I don't know what you want to call these ones. These are the new ones, but I'll look at those last. So we'll go over, like, grassland. So grassland, Captain Sparkles, I showed you. Um, he grassland attacking, player attacking, player defending, and building. So that's the only dragon that gives you a building bonus, by the way, is a legendary there. And then you have Salty, which is a warrior dragon, so attacking same with quartz both attacking dragons that's why they're probably my highest because i don't do like pve is is something i don't really focus on so they're the ones i don't feed at all so the anything anything the first thing i'll level up is captain sparkles because he's the main legendary the second one i actually will level up is either salty or uh quartz here because they're my uh pvp dragon so i'll feed them i don't actually feed my uh my hunting dragons here. So these are my uh, hunting dragons. They also do gathering. So um, this one will have goblin hunter and grassland gathering. So if you go get, if you gather or what's well, called gather a node or whatever, let's say, um, let's say you want to go, um, let's go gather this. Let's say you want to gather some gold. Um, those will be your dragons there. Um, it just adds that. You can see there's a bonus here for gathering. Um, those ones will give you a bonus for gathering. They also give a bonus for uh, what's called monster hunting. So if you click on here, but um, usually, uh, let's say these ones will be the best, but since my quartz is such a high level, it's actually better at attacking P uh, PvE than my uh, my actual PvE dragons because it's like 40 levels higher. Um, but, that, but normally you'd be using your uh, 
PVE drags for that. So if you look at uh, Badlands, Chopper, and uh, Bertha, they will be your PVE drags. You're uh, the ones that give you the uh, hunt monster hunting and your gathering bonus. That's for Badlands. So those are the ones I don't feed very much. Um, then there's Yark. I'm not really a Badlands main, so I don't really level these up too much. So I've been more focusing on giving uh, Rot all the uh, Chow. Because uh, if you go here, this is how you feed and level up your dragons, is these Chows you get. Um, I, I would wait until you actually level up um, your biomes a little more. So that's why they're probably not high enough level. Because I haven't been focusing on that. I've been focusing on my grass. Because if you look at biomes here, um, grassland. I'll just go to the grassland. So they're, all the biomes are the same, by the way, if you if you guys are wondering. But there's an EXP bo bonus up here. So this is max. So that's why my grasslands are so much higher. Because I've got a much higher glass, grassland uh, max there if you go to hit this i am currently leveling it up but it is only level 14 going to 15 so i haven't quite fed them too many uh what's called chows yet because it's it's inefficient actually to feed them uh, before you level up all these buildings and stuff so if you can hold off it's actually better so uh, but i have been leveling up my rot because it is the best and i'll show you what rot is um, it's the same as sparkles for the uh monster hunting attack and uh, defense, but it gives you a research bonus instead. Um, so my next, uh, oh, it looks like my next one will actually give me a 40% a research bonus, which would be awesome. And actually gives a huge ally bonus as well. So I want to get that up actually very, very soon. I need 600 more of those, but um, those are the dragon shards. So I'll go over that too, actually. Um, but yeah, I'll just go over the dragons itself. So Frank and uh, what's called Migo will be your uh, swamp hunters. And then uh, Bubbles and um, Muscle Moth. Those Solea. <laughs> so I don't know how to say that. Anyways, those would be your uh, hunting ones. And then Rucker and Bob is your legendary again. Same attacking and defending as well, but this one gives a troop training bonus. So I actually have them all very close to getting that really, really good one. So the next level rank up is actually a really big one because it gives you a huge bonus on your alley bonus and your troop training as well in the next one. So uh, dragon shards are the way to actually get your uh, your Wrecker and, or your dragons up to, let's say, the next level. Um, but you get those through like uh, doing events and stuff. There's a really good event going on right now if you guys want to jump on. Um, it is the, uh, the Ring of Fire event. So you look at the quest rewards, you actually do get a ton of these uh, shards, your legendary dragon shards. So you, if you want to do it, make sure you do well in these ones. Uh, is this the buy one actually? Am I looking at the wrong one? We'll go back and look at that. Uh, let's see this. No, you know, this is the buying one. The other one is the uh, the main one. Okay, good. Yeah, so you do get a bunch of shards through that. So do that quest if you are doing that. That'll give you a bunch of shards. That will level up your dragon. Um, if you go look at your dragons here again, um, you have your tiers here, which are different. These things you get, um, these goblin boots and stuff like that, and uh, wherever eyeballs you get from actually hitting monsters. And then you can, uh, what's called craft them and make them and then you can level up your dragons that way um if you look at a dragon let's see uh rarity base strength level upgradable so you look at here i actually can upgrade my uh quartz i'm not going to i'm going to wait for an event to do that uh but you can see with the bonus it only goes up by 10 percent your legendaries actually go up by 20 percent, so that's why they're better um and that's from just getting the shards. You get those through doing like quests and stuff like that, or you can buy them in the store. So if you want to level up your dragons faster, you can buy them in the store. Uh, but you can also actually, once you get up there, you can actually evolve this. So next tier. So every every time you fill these things up um, and you you got high enough level, you can actually tier up. Um, the next tier is going to be 254 days because it is a really high tier. Um, it's much lower at, at lower, but uh, tier 11 is very high, so my dragons are quite high right now. Uh, if I go look at, let's say, yeah, smaller horn, the, here we go. Going from tier to two to three is only eight hours, so it's it's not always super high. But uh, these are the newer dragons, so I haven't leveled them up as much. But your, uh, your other ones, they take a long time once you get, like, tier 11. So um, I'm actually waiting to tier everything up wait to or wait to tear everything up and catch up before i start doing 200 day uh, researches because uh obviously either i gotta speed that up or wait a long time to do that um so going back to biomes here so i went through all the dragons um if you look at let's say leveling up here you can see that uh let's say one golden chow here since i have maxed um exp on dra or on grass it will give me sixteen thousand. if i go to uh let's say Badlands. I don't think I need to get out of this every single time, but um, yeah, there you go. If I if I add one here, it's only fourteen thousand. So that's why I'm kind of waiting to actually there, um, actually to go uh, through 
and actually uh, level these guys up and feed them. I'll feed them later once I've got the research done. So I'm actually holding off and saving a bunch of chow to do so. If you look at Swamp, I'm actually, I think I'm even further behind. So yeah, only 13,000 there. So you're getting a much more if you actually do the research first. So that's why I'm saving up all these uh, chows here. I'll feed them once that happens. So it's more efficient to save up, especially at the beginning. A lot of times you want to like, oh, I just want to feed all my things and level up my dragons as fast as possible. But if you can hold off just a little bit, it's actually more efficient efficient once you do the research and then you just feed them all at once and then you you're actually you getting more experience for the same amount of work that you've done to actually get the chow so i've gone through everything and the last ones will actually be the uh legendary or the super legendary i don't know if, what you want to call these the the elite dragons so the newest dragons here um they have a bunch of crazy bonuses so so waffles here is an anything attacker so you you can attack on any biome it'll give you attack bonus on all of them so um normally let's say uh let's say here um Salty, it'll only give you a bonus on if you're on grasslands or you're attacking grasslands or defending on grasslands so that's that's like any biome specific uh a dragon you only get the bonuses if you're doing the exact biome that they're associated with but these legendary ones here um they're basically omni biome so they basically go across all biomes so waffles here will actually give you a, a core uh, biome attacker bonus and also attacking on uh lava as well so that's something that's uh like specific to this dragon they attack anyone on any uh what's called biome and you get the bonus um also, you get more bonuses for rallying people and stuff as well, so you get a higher bonus for that. So uh, if you can actually level up this dragon, it's probably going to be the best attacking dragon you can get. So if you want to invest in money in attacking, this is the best attacking uh, dragon you want to get. It is the current, like, quote-unquote, top dragon, but it's also, like, the big pay-to-play dragon in the game. Um, so usually, well, I mean, it just came out, so obviously I don't have too much in it. But it also does shrines, so shrines are, like, the the main event where you um, basically attack different shrines and stuff like that and try and hold the shrine. This is also gives you a shrine rally bonus and it also gives you a lethality bonus as well. So you actually do, you actually kill more troops uh, with this dragon and it gives you a realm ally booster. So that means depending on which biome you're attacking, your allies actually get a boost from this dragon or max, max boost. Cause uh, if you look at actually my current uh let's see where's my uh where's my allies uh i've gone over allies before but i just want to show this again so if you look at my allies my base grassland bonus is three hundred ninety-five thousand, but bonus for his players is only 341 so uh if i was attacking with uh waffles there it would actually add 30 percent to my max bonus so i'd almost up get up to my cap where i am so it's actually really 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 helpful um, and then going back into the other one, we'll go over Smack. Smack's the next one. This is the Raid Dragon, by the way. So it gives you a Raid Minion Attacker Bonus, Titan Attacker Bonus. If you do Raids, you know what that means. Um, and it also gives a Raid Boss Bonus. They're all the same. So it basically just gives you a Raid Bonus, Raid Attacking Bonus across all the things that you're going to be attacking. But it also gives you a uh, Relic Reward. So you actually get uh, more rewards for using it when attacking. So you get like basically double Relic which is really really good and then it gives you a raid gather so if you're gathering like nodes from the raid it gives you like a 300 percent bonus so get, you're basically gathering three times faster this is the only dragon that gives you a bonus for gathering um so it is very important especially when you're doing like a speed raid or anything like that so keep that in mind um smack is something i just got so he's very low uh he's actually probably my lowest dragon right now because i literally I, that's the most recent dragon i got and then lady Smolderhorn here is your lava attacker so your uh, stronghold the main uh, base here for the uh, what the wars the wonder wars is actually going to be on lava so this is the only lava attacking dragon so if you're on lava this is the dragon you want because it gives you a lava player attack bonus of 310 percent the only dragon that will give you a bonus on lava i think I, well, actually, that's not true. I think Waffles gives you attacker bonus on <laughs> Lava too. So La Ladies War was the only one that gives you a ma major Lava attacking bonus. And then it gives, it gives you a Lava re Monster Relic Reward, but there are no la Lava Monsters, so that must be a future planned uh, research or something. Or not research, uh, game thing that actually is going to happen later on. But right now, there are no Lava Monsters, so... <laughs> that someone's actually useless <laughs> until they actually add uh, lava monsters to the game which i which they probably will do looking at that and then it gives the lava defender bonus and then lava raid and all that there are no lava raids so 
I'm not sure uh, that will be a future uh, update as well. And then lava gathering, you can't gather in lava because there's no lava nodes. So all these things will be added probably later in the game. So looking at that, that's kind of some future content. Uh, gives you a little uh, sneak peek into what's going on, I'm pretty sure, because um, there are no lava stuff. And well, there's only the stronghold right now on lava, which the lava defender and attacker bonus would be for. And then also gives you some lava non city uh, PvP lethality bonus. So attacking people in the stronghold and stuff like that, or maybe on nodes maybe later on. So those are all the dragons. Um, that's kind of the overview of all of them. There's, uh, there's basically gathering dragons, there's uh, attacking dragons, there's your legendary dragons that do both and add a little bit bonus, and then there's your super legendary tier at the bottom that does a bunch of different stuff. Uh, one's a raid dragon, one's a uh, lava dragon, and the other one is just a pure attacking dragon. <laughs> so I hope this one, uh, hope this bit, a little tutorial on the dragons uh, uh, basically helped you out. Um, there's the uh, what's called dragon temples. They give you more dragon EXP. So if you want to level those or build these up before you start uh, giving your dragons some uh, EXP, it actually is a great thing. And it's actually a little tip I'm just going to give it out. Uh, save up your uh, dragon chow for either vents which is your tooth and scale which will give you prizes for winning for uh, leveling up your dragons or uh, level these up and also do your biome what's called exp boost so grassland badlands and swamp sorcery here that's the top one here your dragon exp boost make sure you do that before you do anything else um, and obviously biome depends on uh, will be boosting up your dragons. So this is like grassland attack bonus and march speed of your dragons and all that stuff is in your biome stuff. So that's other stuff that actually can uh, power up your dragons. So if you uh, want to be a grass main or a badlands main or swamp main, or if you're going to go heavy pay to play or play a long time, you obviously probably finish all three of them. So um, those will power up your dragons as well. That's why I, I do so much damage on grass just because I'm a grass main currently. I haven't quite gotten into the other biomes as much. Um, once I finish that, then um, then I'll be able to actually attack more and all that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this Heckfire tutorial video. If you guys have any questions on dragons, leave them in the link down below. Uh, make sure you, uh, basically, if you want to be an attacker, level up your PvP drags. Um, legendary drags are the top priority. And then, obviously, these super legendaries can be your priority as well if you want to be heavy pay to play and all that stuff. Or you can wait as free to play because you do get free stuff from them. Because I haven't bought anything on the... Uh, What's called these three dragons. I just got them through the events, which is the main event going on right now. So if you guys want to jump on and play the game, make sure you finish this event. It uh, gives you great quest rewards. And then your uh, top rewards here for getting first place. You can actually see you get like 2.5k of those, uh, what's called shards, which can level up your dragon quite a bit. So, I mean, you probably won't get first place in your unless you're pay, pay to play, but you can still get like top 100 and get... Uh, a ton of uh, what's called shards. Like you can get almost 100 just for coming uh, top 100 and... 50. So top 100 would give you 150 of those and you get your uh, stamps that will give you the waffles and the, sm the smack and all that stuff. So that event's going on right now. So if you're a free to play player, make sure you hit that one up really, really, uh, <laughs> really well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one.